Hey guys, Matt Sardo here, Monkeys Fighting Robots. So glad to be back. Whew, it's been a crazy summer, and uh, I apologize, man. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what happened to it, but we are getting back to the fall schedule, and uh, I know that's scary. We're still in the middle of the summer, and we still should be partying, but I'm getting back into the fall schedule, and uh, we should get videos back on the regular, and I'm, I'm working on something special. I'm working on something special. And if you guys, those who know me, uh, know what I've been working on over the summer. And I'm super excited about it. The uh, Indie Comics Creator Con, the Kickstarter is going to be launching August 28th. I'll make sure there's a link in the description below. And uh, that's, that's, it's going to be an amazing time. It's going to be an amazing time. We already have, I think we have like 60 creators already locked in on the event. And, and now we're going to launch the Kickstarter. And then after that, we are going to uh, start bringing in some guests and planning out panels and, and be a lot of exciting things to announce to you guys as well. Uh, this is going to take place in March and uh, in New Haven, Connecticut. It's a lot of good stuff, a lot of really good stuff. But the first thing is August 28th, we launched the Kickstarter. That's where we're going to sell tickets and exclusives to the show. Uh, the indie comics yearbook is part of that as well. Like it's going to be bonkers. It's going to be so good. And I hope you uh, take part in it and are able to join me and we're able to like actually meet face to face. Cause that's going to be awesome when I'm just shaking hands and kissing babies and being like, comics are amazing. And you're like, yes, comics are amazing too. And it's just a, a bonkers good time. Cause that's what it's going to be. And we're going to eat lots and lots of pizza because new Haven has some of the best pizza in the world. Oh man. All right, so we're talking about the coal. Coal number one uh, comes out this week from Image Comics. Dropping today, uh, Kelly Thompson. Mattia DeLuise is the amazing Italian artist on this. Uh, Hassan is the, the letterer on this. Uh, Mattia is also the colorist on the book as well. And I was looking, like, I see Haas's name on everything. Like, he is like a lettering machine right now uh, and working on so many different books. And that's amazing for him. And and, and then it surprised me because, like, I saw that there's a new strip panel, Naked, that dropped uh, a couple days ago. And uh, his his breakdown of comic books and, and structure and elements of comic books is, is second to none. I mean, the guy's won awards left and right for everything he's done in the comic book industry. So... Uh, I, again, I was super stoked when he dropped a new panel, uh, creating effects, effective scale in comics with Tom Strong. So he talks about Tom Strong and, and yeah, it's, wow. I've learned so much from them. Uh, definitely check them out if you haven't checked them out. So let's talk about the call. Cause like th this is, this is a book that like, oh man, I'm, I'm a feelings guy. I got feelings. I have empathy. Uh, I care about people. I care about comic books. I care about you. Uh, this is a book that were like, they took advantage of my empathy. Uh, every character in this is like broken, uh, and and there's such such sadness or pain that I could feel from the pages, and uh, it's the setup is a whole bunch of silent pages, and it looks beautiful. It's a very beautiful book as well. Uh, but yeah, the way they introduced all the different characters in this, this crew, this Goonie S crew uh, that they're calling it, because they're calling it like a sci-fi horror Goonies adventure, you know, kind of thing. And and I, I I take all that with a grain of salt. I know what they're trying to sell you on and and things like that. But I was just like, okay, this is a number one issue. It's got a sci-fi element to it, and there's a band of heroes or band of characters and they're going to go on an adventure and and there's a mystery to solve or there's a mystery so uh the way they're introduced like it's 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 in the middle of the night and 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 that's when you're vulnerable and you know each character has has a problem or has some sort of issue that that's causing them pain and and some are are really in your face elements and some of them are abstract elements and and it was just whew. it was one of those books that I just like instantly emotionally attached with it and that's writing that's that's like really good storytelling right there so 
Kelly Thompson is is has something. She has something going on with this book that just that grabbed that just grabbed me. And I mean, there's a mystery and there's a last page hook and and all the different elements that I need in a first issue to be like, okay, you need to go out and get this like right now. But the show stealer is definitely Matias artwork. He has this photorealistic style. And oh, let's step it back for a second. Cause I got it. This is, this is the thing is so one, I was instantly hooked by the book or, or emotionally hooked by the book. But then two, I was like, okay, this is made, this has a cinematic element to it. And I was like, okay, what is going on? Like, what is going on? Because I'm like, I read it and then I read it again. And then I was just like, okay, let me look at panel structure. And I was like, oh, there it is. Because like the, the book takes place in the middle of the night, like the panel borders are all black. So there's this nice like, night mode version of the comic book that you're reading. And also, Mattia has this photorealistic style. So the people in the book don't like you, look like you, and they definitely don't look like me. Um, so they look like actors in a book, or actors in a book, and they're actors in a movie, actors in a show. Uh, and then, then he likes to do depth of field every so often, you know, they're, uh, in the panels. And so you'll have everything in focus. And then you'll have a panel that has, you know, depth of field. And you're like, oh, that's, that's pretty nifty. Or whatever's in front really, must be really important. And then the thing that really tops it off is, is his panel structure. Most of the book is four panels. And they're stacked panels on the page. And this, like, I'm lo- oh, I'm looking at my phone. I was like, oh, they match up to my phone. Like, it's, and I'm in cinema, cinematic mode, like, he he makes cinematic panels through the book. So you have you have these this four panel style uh, per page, and very cinematically the way they're shot and framed. Uh, and then you have this depth of field. So he has his own personal camera that he's working with. And then you have this photorealistic style. I was like, holy crap, Ola! He's making his own film. He's making his own film. He's the, he's an amazing cinematographer in this. And the only time that he like breaks this panel structure is when there's a splash page or later on the end, there's like a lot of back and forth. And then the four pages, four panels become six panels as the back and forth comes along. But it's still this elongated rectangle, cinematic rectangle. Uh, Well, if you know what that style is called of panels, let me know below and we'll start working out. Because like you have the nine panel grid which Tom King loves, and I can't stand. But then you have this, where I'm like, everybody's thing is shot cinematically or laid out cinematically. But if you know what that is, like, um, you know, because if there's four panels, everything's rectangles this way, you know, and it's where you read like this, like, what is, if you know what that's called, uh, comment below. Because this cinematic style just, like, I was reading it digitally, so I was just like scrolling down. Very um, ah, I'm blanket on the on the digital comics platform, basically anime where you just kind of scroll down and you keep moving. But like for me, this is looks like a film reel with the black borders, and you're just scrolling down on the comic book, except for when you got the splash pages. And then there's like a subtle that well, they're actually making a film in there as well. So there's other elements that add to that cinematic quality. And then there's, I think it's the second panel, second page is a splash page where they're kind of like recording and it's a giant splash page and you see from the point of view of the camera. So you have that element as well. They're making a film, you see film footage and he's laying out the panels in a film. It's three, three, three elements to make you Make your brain turn it into a film yourself. And then he also has his three elements, the photorealistic style, the depth of field, and then his panel structure that then adds on top of that. So you have like six elements that makes your brain be like, oh my God, this is a film. And it's so good. So I would definitely check it out. Um, 
this is a must buy in my book. Uh, and it's, it's a, again, I don't know what's going to happen. So I can't tell. I want to be like, Oh, it's a fun read, but it's not a fun read. It's like a pain. It's, 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 it's an empathy read. And then you get to a point where like, Oh my God, what's going to happen next? And you're like, I don't know. And so you're like, I need issue two now. So that's where I am. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's amazing, but I need issue two now. And I can't wait to have it. So, all right, guys, I'm so glad to be back talking with you guys about comic books. And I can't wait to talk about the next one. Take care.